Hello, this is the TradeSite U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Wednesday the 5th of May 2021. Hope you had a good trading day on Tuesday. We certainly did hear a lot of good winners in the stock side. Big move down for us. Markets recovered a bit. Futures are currently showing a small gap up for the morning, but that's still many hours away, of course. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily turn of the broad market futures form. You can see we dipped, rolled over, came back a bit, though. Um, well off the lows of the session, but it was a good opportunity for us. And again, this is a result of that trend reading. We'll look at that in a minute here. Um, anyways, uh, crude oil. Let's go through the daily charts. Crude oil uh, up 61 cents to 66.30, getting near an all-time high breakout. But keep in mind here one thing: unless it takes too many days and we get a recycle, actually two more days. Oh no, sorry. We got the 13 sell signal today because we got above candle 8. So we now have a 13 sell signal on crude oil. Gold up $3.90. Not much there. Amazing how long this thing has gone without any kind of seeker count at all. The S&P cash lost 28 points. Again, well off the lows. You'll see that in a minute. But the NASDAQ was down 255. It's a lot uglier there, obviously. The SOX down 49 points and change um, came down to that red static trend line the biotechs up down 148 nothing pretty about that chart Russell 2000 down 29 points remember the 13 sell signal here on the Russell 2000 is the high on the index the VIX closes up a dollar 17 but it was much higher in today the trend closing at 1.20 puts the 10-day back up at 0.95 but remember it was that 10-day back on Friday that closed under 0.85 that gave us the sell signal on the broad market. We just kind of had to wait a day or two for it, and then it kind of came to fruition and made us our money. Now, obviously, one day down doesn't make much of a change other than the fact that we made great money doing it, but let's hope the excitement keeps up uh, here moving forward. Here's a look at the NASDAQ volume. was 5.8 billion shares. So back up, it's been down for a month now, so this is... Better volume, better trading, obviously, for us. Uh, NASDAQ volume, I'm sorry, NASDAQ advanced decline ratio closed down negative 1459. So way more stocks down than up. But on the New York, it was only negative 440 or 435, which isn't too bad, really. Now, the big chart, the big stocks, the FANG stocks, Google down uh, 36.25, but it was, again, much lower intraday. Apple down $4.69. Netflix down $5.93. Amazon down 74.62. Tesla loses 11.3. Facebook down $4.22. Zoom down $9.07. We made some money on that one today. Goldman Sachs down 32 cents. It's fine. Off the highest. TLT, the 20 year bond ETF, up 94 cents. Uh, and the Dow is up just 19, which doesn't really matter. Bitcoin sitting at 54400 and 95 now if you look at the five minute chart because you can see you know we've been so flat like you could remember go back look at the 15 for a minute and you can see how flat we've been for seven days right just no action at all so finally we get that signal and we get a gap down and it broke the lows of that narrow range that we've had for days and then we just kept heading lower and dropped uh and that's the type of range we like to see during the day and because of it we made some good money here's the nasdaq side uh, same deal dropped and kept going, but you know, the gap down isn't ideal, but at the same time, you know, from where you opened or basically that top of that first candle all the way to the low of the day is 300 points uh, on the NASDAQ. That's a good run, easy money to make, and uh, we did it. Five winners, five big winners out of five triggers on the stock side. All right, in terms of economic data coming out on Wednesday here in the U.S., 8.15 a.m., we got the ADP non-farm employment change. 9.45 final services PMI, 10 o'clock ISM services PMI, 11, 10.30 crude oil inventories, that's it. Um, and we still have a few numbers left later in the week, of course, including uh, the unemployment rate on Friday. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Have a great trading Wednesday.